first step I would say is that there should be no hesitation because whoever I meet, the very first question they ask me is that do I need to have any coding background to get into an automation space? Uh, what I would say is that it's, it's not actually required. So maybe over a period of time, you'll get to know it eventually. The basic stuff is fine. So you don't need any coding background so that there should be no hesitation or a, there should be no stoppage to get into automation space. So people who wants to get into automation, we can go at any time, so it's not a problem. So that's the first suggestion I would say. So step into it, don't have any hesitation. And once you get into automation, it takes you to a lot of things like, I think RPA is the base for AI and ML. So once you get into automation, you move for AI and ML, and then you can upgrade yourself. And because the world is moving towards digitization, right? So that's very important. Um, I think that's a foremost I would even suggest to anyone who come, who wants to get into automation. When I started my journey in 2017 as an RPA developer, the very first thing I was a little bit scared is that, okay, we are now doing a development and what if it goes wrong? So <laughs> the first advice I got from my mentor is that, see, you're doing an automation. It doesn't stop any production or any kind of a background process. So they're going to do it manually and you're trying to enable them to do their valuable task. So don't worry about the result, just focus on the process build it so that you get the results at any time so that's the thing best moment is of course like my first board uh, I, I could still cherish that magical moment um, but at the end of the day um, it's about the feeling that you get out of it after deploying or any development right so so you you feel like you are doing something meaningful so you're doing something purposeful. You're enabling the stakeholders to focus on valuable tasks. You're giving them some valuable work hours. And then you're trying to contribute something to your organization where, where the company is focusing more on digitization, right? So um, best part is that first board, but at the end of the day, like every, any developer you ask, um, for any, every deployment or every, any development, they will feel like they're doing something meaningful. Of course, with uh, UiPath, I go for Academy. That's my go-to place. Uh, I started uh, even my uh, basics from there. So I find that place as one stop shop where you can get to know all the products in one single place. And it's well structured. You don't need to get confused like where to start and how to go, how to proceed further. You have a structured learning platform there. Uh, so I, I would say UiPath Academy, first choice. And once you get to know about the product, uh, you get the knowledge about it, you try to use it, build some use cases and explore it further with help of forum. Uh, we have almost like uh, 1.6 lakhs users there, so any doubts you have, you just ping in there, you get the answers the very next moment. So forum is a pivotal, like it has played a pivotal role in my career. Um, I started asking questions when I when I started my career, and then over a period of time, um, the enthusiasm and the uh, willingness to help others inspired me a lot. So that I started contributing in turn. I started answering some questions, and then um, now I'm here like with around uh, 2,500 solutions in forum. <laughs> Well, as I mentioned earlier, like it's all about um, the start. That's very important. Uh, you don't need to worry about any 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 kind of uh, coding knowledge or this or that. So you just need to start. So that's the very first step. And then uh, you have all the resources ready. Um, for example, you have the UiPath Academy, which is open platform, so that you can get in and then learn all the products. And of course, you have Studio and all the other products, which is like in a commutation, it's open and you can install it, explore it, and then you can try it out. So there are a lot of things available. The only thing is that we need to start. So it's, it's something from us.
my personal favorite one is uh, help section because that category has multiple subcategories of each and every product so it has got studio studio x and all the other products so any questions you want to ask or you want to get clarified you can go there and then get it clarified I'll just try to reflect what I did, uh, so that might be useful for people who are in the same mindset. Um, start, stick to the basics, that's very important, because only when you have the basic foundation really good, then you can understand the uh, upgraded version of that product. So for that, start with Academy, and then uh, once you are familiar with the product, go for forum, ask your questions, and then look at the questions that you want to ask, if it might it have been addressed uh, even before some time by other uh, developers or other forum people. So uh, it has got a lot of features like you can ask and you can contribute, but not just that. You can refer some use cases there in the forum. So if, if you are a beginner and you are looking for some use cases, you can get into forum and learn and then uh, try to practice that with that use case category. And then we have other categories like learning plans and then uh, few other things, asking your own language. So there are a lot of categories, subcategories in forum. So any beginner who wants to start their RPA journey, uh, start with Academy and forum both together, and then uh, Academy first and then forum next so that uh, you get your doubts clarified then and there. So you don't need to wait or you don't get forced at any point. So you just go through the flow and then uh, explore a lot.